Back in 2018, Josh Dorkin sold bigger pockets to a private equity company called McCarthy Capital Partners, right? And I don't know about you guys, but ever since that happened, I had a burning question, man. I'm like, how much did Homeboy get for this thing, right? I was very curious to know just how much Josh actually sold uh, his his interest in bigger pockets. I wanted to know how much the guy got, right? You hear about tech companies going for all this money, right? So I really wanted to know. So, you know, I've been keeping my ear to the ground, doing some research, just trying to figure out how much he actually walked away with, right? And it's taken me almost six years now, right, to figure it out. But I've got the answer, and I'm going to give it to you. All right, y'all, welcome to the 91st episode of the Ask James Wise Show. This, folks, is the show here on Holton Wise TV where I answer your burning real estate questions, plus I answer real estate questions that I think y'all should be asking, right? Even if you didn't ask me, if you should have asked me, I'm going to go ahead and answer that shit right here on Holton Wise TV. So make sure you subscribe or follow to whichever social media platform you prefer to get the insight, the insides into the real estate industry, right? And if you're in the real estate investing space, okay, there's a website you're probably familiar with. If you're not familiar with it, you should be familiar with it, right? And that's Bigger Pockets, okay? I love me some Bigger Pockets, man. I have literally made millions of dollars uh, through connections, deals, and networking uh, that I have made uh, and been a party to throughout my experiences uh, being an active member on that uh, community, right? Uh, I've posted, I, I believe I have like the second, the second most posts of all time on that website, right? Uh, Jay Henricks, he's another investor out there. Uh, we've done some work together, Jay and myself as well, right? If you guys saw uh, what Holton Wise TV did covering all of the stuff on the Clayton Morris uh, you know, that whole turnkey scam and all that jazz, right? Morris Invest, all that stuff, right? Jay and I, we did some work there, right? So he's a good dude. He's actually the number one poster on the Bigger Pockets website. But your boy, James Wise, I'm number two, okay? So ain't nobody talking more on that uh, website than myself, right? So I'm sure a lot of people who watch Holton Wise TV, you're probably aware of that website. Or again, if you're not, you should be. It's a great site. Uh, I dig it, man. It, it's a cool website. And the guy who started it, okay, he's no longer the owner. His name is Josh Dorkin. He started in, like, the early 2000s, okay? It was, like, 2004 or something like that, right? I know a lot of people think that that other dude, Brandon Turner, started it. He did not. Uh, to my understanding, uh, Brandon was Josh's first employee, okay? Um, so, anywho, bigger pockets, big time site, blah, blah, blah. Bunch of real estate people are on there. It's dope. If you never heard of it, I suggest you check it out. Which, by the way, this video is not affiliated or sponsored by Bigger Pockets or anything like that, right? So they're not like paying me uh, to promote them or anything like that. Completely uh, unrelated, right? I'm just making this because I got a story and uh, I'm breaking it to you guys because that's what I do, okay? So they, they're not, I'm not shilling for them or anything like that, okay? But long story short, y'all, let's get to the meat and potatoes, man. Let's get to why y'all clicked on this video. Because you're curious, just like I was curious, right? Back in 2018, right? It's almost 2024 as I talk about this, right? It's going to be 2024 in about a month or so, right? So we're almost six years away from when he sold it, right? He sold it to this company. It's like a private equity investment firm. They're called McCarthy Capital Partners, right? I, like I'm sure many of you, before they sold or before McCarthy came in and bought Bigger Pockets, had never heard of McCarthy Capital Partners, right? Uh, in my little bit of research I've done on them, it looks like this company, they come in, they buy companies, and it looks like they kind of like reposition them and, and do like help out with management. It looks like they grow companies, right? So I... I'm gathering purely based on my speculation and opinion that like they target companies that have seen some nice growth. And then I think they like to come in, acquire those companies and then really try to, you know, boost that growth. Right. And what do they do after that? I don't know. Maybe they own them and they keep rocking them or I'm gathering. I'm guesstimating uh, that they then like grow them. You know, maybe they come in, try to like 10 X them or something like that. And then they try to sell them for a much bigger profit or something like that. Right. That's, that's generally what I've gathered 
uh, through my research of figuring out who those folks were. And again, I never heard of them until I heard my beloved Bigger Pockets uh, was sold to them. Okay. And I was, uh, when I found out about the sale, it was kind of like a big deal. I was like, holy shit, man. Uh, since Josh Dorkin's been around, dude, like since Bigger Pockets, since I've been in Bigger Pockets, it's like, that's Josh Dorkin's thing. That's his baby. That's the guy, right? Uh, so, you know, and I've actually, uh, you know, done a podcast, right? I was on the Bigger Pockets podcast uh, with Josh and Brandon. I know Josh and Brandon haven't done the podcast for years. This was back, shit, like eight, eight, eight years ago, something like that. Eight or nine years ago, I was on one of their episodes. Good dudes. Uh, you know, they seem like legit guys. Me and Josh, we had a little barbs going back and forth because at the time, you know, he was convinced Kobe Bryant was the GOAT. And I was like, nah, dog, it's it's LeBron. And that was even before LeBron came back to Cleveland, won that title. Obviously, that was before Kobe's passing. Uh, but, you know, maybe not the best time to say this because he just died. And we're all a little sensitive about Kobe. But clearly, LeBron ended up proving to be the GOAT, okay? Just letting you all know. And that's not because I'm from Cleveland and I'm being a homer. I mean, just, that was like eight years ago. LeBron, at this point, has become... Uh, like the number one scorer of all time, got a, another friggin' two titles since then. I mean, it's clear. It was clear to be back then, uh, but it's definitely clear now. But we're getting off topic, y'all, because, like, nobody really cares about basketball who's watching this. Y'all are watching this because I said I know how much that dude sold that company for, and that's what you want to know. And I know that's what you want to know because that's what I wanted to know, right? As soon as I found out about that, I was Googling, like, dude, who's McCarthy Partners? How much did Josh sell it for? Like, what's up? I want I wanted the inside dirt. I wanted the info, man. That's very interesting uh, when a company like this, uh, a company that's got such a big name in the real estate industry, actually sells, right? When the guy that you think of, when you think of that company, when they actually sell it, man, that's big stuff. Like, imagine Tesla no longer owned uh, by Elon Musk, right? Imagine freaking Berkshire Hathaway no longer owned by Warren Buffett, man. That, that that that's that that's pretty big stuff, okay? Imagine Walmart. Well, you get you get the idea, okay? It was pretty interesting to me. So, I could not find anything though. I, I I saw press releases and I read this or read that. People talking about the sale, but you know what? Never once was the price publicly disclosed. So I've always had that burning question, and y'all know that I'm in the know, okay? And it's taken me years uh, to get the answer, okay? But I believe I have the answer. Now, a couple caveats before I let you all in on how I found out about this, right? I heard this from a source, okay? I believe this source is legitimate, credible, and has accurate information. I wholeheartedly believe Based on what I heard from my source, the Josh Dorkin sold Bigger Pockets for a value of $44 million. I believe he sold a 90% stake for $40 million. So to my understanding from what I have heard from my source, Josh Dorkin is actually a 10% stakeholder, and he got a value of $44 million. The guy sold his shares, 90% of what he owns, 90% of the company, for $40 million bucks and when i heard that dude boom my brain like exploded i was like oh wow i knew that site was big i knew they were worth a lot of money but i myself was like geez man maybe i gotta get out of real estate and i really gotta get into tech i thought that that was an astronomical number uh, but that is what i believe to be correct but a few caveats before i let you get out of here i heard this from a source if you'd like to know who my source is, you could fuck right off because I'm not going to tell you, right? A good reporter never reveals his sources. But I'll tell you guys this, right? You know, putting my street cred on the line as someone who's pretty well known in the industry. I believe this source is 100% accurate. They're not lying to me. It was a conversation off the record. Have I gone and gotten proof and verified that what my source told me is correct. No, I have not. So I'm not going to tell you right now that I definitively know for a fact with proof that Josh Dorkin sold Bigger Pockets for $40 million, 90% of Bigger Pockets, right? So I guess, you know, however you want to slice it. He sold it for $40 million or did he sell it for 44 I don't know. Whatever y'all want to call that, right? I don't know 
that for a fact. I did not do any follow-up uh, digging and, and finding of any concrete proof. I'm just coming to you guys with the information that I was given from a source who I believe is incredibly credible. I am not going to reveal anything about my source, nor who my source is or anything of that nature. All I'm going to tell you guys is my source is somebody I believe would definitely be in the know. I believe my source's information is accurate. I do not believe my source uh, had any motivation or anything to gain uh, from myself uh, being lied to, right? This source did not, you know, there's nothing that would lead this source to, to need to lie to me. Like, the source would have nothing to gain from lying to me, okay? So, to my understanding, based upon what I have heard through the grapevine, through my source, bigger pockets sold. $44 million valuation. Josh Dorkin sold 90% of the company for $40 million. That's what I've heard. That's what I believe. I believe it to be true. It seems slightly unbelievable because it's such a large number. Like in my head, I thought it was going to be in the millions, but I wouldn't have anticipated it would be that high. That's very, very impressive if it is in fact the truth. I don't think I'd bet my firstborn on that number being the truth, y'all. But, I mean, I'd, I'd probably bet my pinky, you know. But like this pinky, right? I'm left-handed. So, like, I wouldn't bet the pinky on my left hand. But I'd, pro I'd probably bet the pinky. You know what? I'd probably bet my pinky toe on it, right? I I'm not really a sandals guy. So, I'd probably bet my pinky toe on it, okay? But y'all let me know. What do you think? Is this information correct? Did it, in fact, sell for a valuation of $44 million, Or is my source janking, uh, you know, jerking my chain, all right? Am I off my rocker here believing this source? Is $44 million for bigger pockets batshit crazy? Or do you guys think that that is the real valuation? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.